Hello there, and in this video we're going to talk about how to do an Excel Im implementation of probability mass functions in terms of both their graph, the expected value, their second moment, and their variance. So let us start with the two examples that we did in the other video where we introduced expected value. So let us assume x has values 3, 4, 5, and 6, and let us assume they have these associated probabilities. It's always important to make sure that this is in fact a probability mass function. You can easily check this by summing up all the values within the probability column and it should come out to 1. So that's no big deal. And also you can observe that all these values are positive and between 0 and 1. So that's also no big deal. So if I were to take these two columns and graph them, say with a scatter plot, then this is going to be the graph of the probability mass function. So I can call this probability mass function. And of course these values on this axis. So if I design this and add chart element, say, uh, let's say this is the vertical axis, this is the P of X column. And on the vertical axis, or horizontal I mean, this is going to be just x. Oh, I've deleted it. All right, so there we go. Insert axis table. There we go. So that's x. So that's the graph of the probability mass function. Now let's calculate the expected value. I'm going to start by creating a new column in column C called x times p of x. So this is going to be equal to the value of x multiplied by its corresponding probability value. And these both will change as I click and drag this down, so I'm going to do that as so. So therefore, the expected value of x is going to be equal to the sum of the products of x times px. So the expected value is going to be equal to 4.7, which is what we calculated before. Now I'm going to calculate the second moment, which is going to be x squared times p of x. So this is going to be equal to x, the quantity, squared, multiplied by the corresponding probability of x. And I'm going to click and drag that down as well. So my e of x squared, is there an exponent key? Uh, not on here, no big deal. So I'm just going to call it e of x squared, and that's going to be equal to the sum of the product of x squared and p of x. So my variance of x, recall from the last video, is going to be equal to the second moment minus the expected value squared. So that's the variance. So I can calculate my standard deviation to be equal to the square root of the variance value. So that's how to calculate the expected value, second moment, variance, and standard deviation. So recall pretty much these formulas that we have here. The expected value of x is the sum of the x times px values. The second moment Recall again, is x squared times px. Add them up, add them up. The variance is equal to the second moment. So the second moment minus the expected value, the quantity squared. And of course the standard deviation of x is the square root of the variance. So those are the four principles that we are sort of working out here. So let's go to another uh, example. Now this example was where we were rolling two fair die and they were four sided. So one through four and X represents the sum of the two. So it ranged from two to eight and we realized that these were the corresponding probabilities. So also we uh, were able to easily verify that this is a triangular distribution. So this is the probability mass function for x, where x is the sum of two four-sided dice, just said PMF. 
All right. So let us calculate those four things that we just discussed for the last example. So I'm going to create a column x times px, another column x squared times px. So this is going to be equal to the values of the sum times their corresponding probabilities. I'm going to click and drag that down. This is going to be equal to the x value squared multiplied by the corresponding probability. And I'm going to click and drag that down. And then I'm going to calculate the expected value, the second moment, the variance, and the standard deviation. So the expected value is going to be equal to the sum of the product of xpx, so c2 to c8. The second moment is going to be equal to the sum of the products of x squared and their probabilities. And again, the variance is going to be equal to the second moment minus the expected value squared. And the standard deviation is going to be the square root of that value. And keep in note that the expected value, e of x, sometimes is abbreviated by mu x. And also the standard deviation of x is sometimes abbreviated by sigma x. And the variance of x is sometimes abbreviated by sigma squared x. And it is very, very important to note that these notations are for a reason, because they are parameters, not statistics, because these are calculations that are describing the likelihood for the whole entire population, the whole entire sample space of possible events. So these are parameters, in fact, and that is why we use the notations mu and sigma for the expected value and standard deviation. And that's how to implement in Excel how to calculate the expected value, standard deviation, second moment, and variance of a discrete random variable if you have the values for the probability mass function.